hello guys welcome back to another tutorial this is actually going to be a first for me um we are going to be doing a decoupage on a four inch santorini square um and these are the tissue prints that come along with the winter wonderland kit that the foiling rock lady uh aka wanda and katie they just released it um i did go ahead and pick out this one so go ahead choose your tissue print i'm gonna grab some liquitex matte medium and this was not sped up at all so this is actually real time of how uh, quickly you can do this um i'm gonna go ahead and unwrap it because of course it's brand new i haven't used it before i like i said i'm very new to this so don't judge me because i'm gonna be learning with you guys as well i did want to go ahead and test it out uh for you guys on a tutorial type of deal so that you guys could kind of get a feel for what all of the products are um so this liquitex matte medium i'm gonna go ahead and put a couple drops down here and grab a brush that's completely dry uh make sure you don't have no like glitter residue no paint residue on it because i tend to do that um with my brushes i'm just gonna kind of put down a smooth layer um kind of get a little bit of the edges the tissue prints fit exactly on the square um so it doesn't overlap you don't have to worry about bringing down the edges or anything like that but i did put some just slightly around the curvature of the rock uh so that it doesn't um it doesn't like stick out you know what i mean it can go down a little bit so i'm just gonna put a little bit more um and this matte medium um is just so that you have something to grip your uh tissue print on i'm gonna go ahead and try to place it down and I also do apologize about my hands because, oh my god, I need a manicure badly, but I can no longer get gel manicures because <laughs> I am allergic to UV now. Um, so I'm going to just lay it down and I'm going to grab my finger and kind of gently try to smooth out the lines. Now, I don't want to be too aggressive with it because I don't want to tear my tissue print either. I'm just going to kind of, you know, coax it out, talk to it kindly, you know, say yes mr tissue print i would like you to smooth out please um just kind of feel them with your fingers i'm not pressing down too hard i'm not trying to tear the print and i didn't put so much medium on the bottom that it's gonna be um goopy you know what i mean because if you if sometimes when you, you know you're doing arts and crafts as a kid you put too much glue down and it kind of tears paper because it soaks it all in so much um so i'm just very very gently i did still have wrinkles and lines like i said this was my first time doing a tissue print decoupage like this um i so i'm definitely going to have to practice but the wonderful thing about this kit is that it comes with several tissue prints so i still have so many uh, opportunities to learn and to practice doing this um if i don't get it the first try if for whatever reason you tear your first um tissue print go ahead scratch it off it's not the end of the world you still have several more in the kit that's included so they really did think about everything with this kit um <clears throat> i'm still trying to smooth them out smooth out the lines as much as i possibly could in the end i just said you know what it's not going to be perfect but that's okay it's just a learning step for myself and um I think that if you try to perfect everything that you do, you're going to just drive yourself mad and you're not going to enjoy doing the art as much as you want to. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my matte medium once more. Um, I didn't want to, again, goop it on, um, but I I am going to, you know, put a generous amount down so that it's kind of, you know, making the rock stick. And since this is matte medium, um, the watercolors that I'm going to use later on in the video do go on very beautifully onto this. If you chose like a glossy medium, I would suggest using like clear gesso um, over it so that the watercolors have something to grip on. Um, watercolors go beautifully over matte type of mediums, gesso type mediums. Um, if you are using glossy paints, they are gonna just kind of slide over and you don't really want that um, because it's gonna look a little bit different than the regular art that i do I'm not saying that you're trying to be like me but you know people usually ask me um like how do you get the shimmer how do you get this how do you get that that's well, because my paints are matte they are not gloss it does make a difference because they will pull on top so that's it that's all the matte medium that i use and as you can see the bottle is still pretty pretty up there in quantity so i still have plenty left over to it's a small tiny bottle but i have plenty left over for the next uh time i want to do this and um so i was getting very very impatient because i'm just an impatient person and so i got a heat gun so that i could go ahead and dry this up because it is just 
uh, I'm obviously recording a tutorial and you guys don't want to be here for an hour. So I'm going to go ahead and dry this up real quick. Um, and yeah, let me uh, play some little elevator music for you guys. Do, 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 do. Just kidding. Um, so as I'm drying this, I just wanted to let you guys know, um, I really, really enjoy talking to you guys about the stuff that I'm using because it brings me joy to use these mediums. It brings me joy to use Wanda and Katie's products. I don't do it because I get a commission. I don't get a commission. I do it simply because I love them. I love them. I love their products. I use them religiously on every single one of my uh, rocks. So I just want you guys to know with all my heart that when I say these these things when I'm promoting these products, it's not because I'm doing it just to earn points or just to, um, you know, you know what I mean? You know, you guys know what I'm trying to get at. Like I do it because I genuinely love these darn products. And I, I don't think I've ever met somebody that I've introduced to them that didn't like them. And you get what you pay for. Um, honestly, they're handmade with love. You're supporting a small woman owned business. You're not going off and, um, getting a mass produced glitter like you know glitterific that's gonna get hard after like a week of being opened like some of these glitter whips I I've had for over a year and they still work beautifully um so here is the watercolor dot card and I have a little water dropper you get it at the Dollar Tree Amazon wherever I'm just gonna place a tiny little drop on top of my dot card um and why are they dots that why are they called dark cards because they're little tiny uh, samples and I'm gonna let the water kind of just sizzle in I call it the sizzle um, it you know the watercolor starts to soak up that water it's called activating them so if you ever hear me talking about activating this is what I'm talking about and it's it's not hard guys to to do the watercolor stuff um, it, it probably might sound like it is but it's really not it's, it's so much fun and they're so shimmery and so pretty this is a watercolor brush. You can fill it with water. I personally don't because I am the type of person that's going to squeeze the the brush too hard and it's just going to splatter paint everywhere, so I don't. Um, but this is one that comes with the uh, kit. So like I said, I'm using the products that are coming directly from the kit. I'm just going to grab a little bit and kind of just mess around with it cover some of the snow and now there are some black and white tissue prints in this kit and if you want to go ahead and um color those in wanda just did a reel with uh black and white and she filled it in with color but for me since it was my first time doing a decoupage i kind of just wanted to you know really accent and brighten the the colored print because it's such a pretty color print and they just go on so smooth and so pretty. Um, I usually use these watercolors as highlights. If you look at my paintings, my paintings, the base of my paintings are done with acrylic. Actually, I'm lying. They're done with acrylic. And I do also use a lot of her shimmer shots because her shimmer shots are very, very pigmented. And I will show you guys later on down in the video. Watercolors are very um, light fast. Some of them, some of them do have a lot of pigment but for the most part I really just love the shimmer that it brings to the paintings so I use them as accents over my acrylic so you want to kind of match light uh like the same colors to the same color so like this moon um right now I'm using a dry brush to kind of like create a glow around the moon um just by scrubbing you know the paint in and um what I was getting at <laughs> my train of thought is everywhere, uh, is I'm going to be using like the silver over the snow, over the moon. Um, you know, you want to use similar colors on top of similar colors. So like here is an example of the shimmer and the glow. So pretty, so shimmery, and it's going to look even better once it's sealed. Um, it really bothers me that I have those lines, but you know what? That's okay. We're just going to keep on trucking because... I cannot, I could not for the life of me get those last wrinkles out, but, um, that's okay. It's going to be okay. Uh, I'm going to use some of this pink over here. Just add a couple of highlights. I mean, this is already a gorgeous picture. Um, this is actually a picture that Wanda generated herself and, um, you know, going to just add a little bit of shimmer here, a little bit of shimmer there, uh, kind of great, go in with this little glow over here with the pink. I hope you guys are having, um, a good November. 
um, I don't know about you guys, but I sound like a frog right now because I have bronchitis. Uh, and just recovering from it after being forced to go to the urgent care by my husband because he said that I needed antibiotics. And I'm actually very grateful that he made me go because I, um, I'm feeling a lot, a lot better. Um, I'm going to use this blue, go over it. And the watercolors, um, so the more water that you put into your watercolors, the more, um, the less pigment is going to show up when you put them down. If you're using your watercolors with just a little bit of water, obviously it's going to grab more pigment than water and they will be a little bit more, how do I say it? A color? Oh my God, I can't talk. Opaque? Is that the word I'm looking for here? Um. <clears throat> This bottom right hand green, I don't know if you guys can see it, but oh my god, it's got like the prettiest little color shift in it. And that's what's the cool part about some of these watercolors too, is that they will shift from like one color to another, depending on which side of the rock you're looking at. Um, I'm going to add some purple here. I really love this deep, uh, like royal purple up here. I'm just going to tap it in, you know, add some accents. It doesn't have to be perfect. Your art does not have to be perfect. If you're going to focus yourself on your details for your paintings, then honestly, sometimes it just sucks the fun out of it. I think that some of my best work is produced when I'm just kind of like, ah, you know, I'm just going to add a little bit here, add a little bit there. And when I don't stress myself out about what I'm producing, it just it turns out to be a lot more fun and better for the soul, um, you know, to not have to think about it because this is my time to just kind of get away and relax and do something fun experiment with things that i love experiment with new mediums don't be afraid to mix your mediums um mix watercolor with acrylic mix your shimmer shots with your watercolors with your acrylic mix your gouache with your acrylic you guys know that i'm a big fan of mixing the neon gouaches with the acrylic to brighten up the colors um don't be afraid like there is no rule book on what you can or cannot do with your art supplies they are your art supplies and you use them however you want experiment have fun with them um so now i'm gonna get into the shimmer shots you do want to shake them up a little bit to kind of get the color going um i didn't shake this enough don't judge me um i was in kind of a rush to kind of get this tutorial going i'm gonna shake it up a bit um and just put a little bit down here on my little turntable I'm going to show you how pigmented they are. This is uh, the gingerbread, and then this is the sunfire. It's it's almost like straight paint, honestly, but they're just so... Um, what's the word I'm looking for here? <laughs> they're so like fluid and soft to work with that they they are just beautiful and perfect for blending. Honestly, the sunfire has like little flakes of like orange and red, and I think that's why she named it Sunfire because they, they shimmer beautifully when they're like shifted around. It's going back to that color color shift type of deal that I was talking to you guys about. Um, oh my god, I cannot talk. This is like the longest tutorial I think that I've done. So, <laughs> And then I filmed this last night, so I'm trying to remember um, what I was doing. See, I got a little bit of the yellow into that um, silver because I did not rinse my brush off right. And that's just how pigmented they are. <laughs> a quick little rinse, you know. You gotta, you gotta fully like clean your brush off. Okay, so I added a little bit more um, silver to that snow and then I'm gonna go back in and just add a little bit more of that mixture. Uh, you can use just the brown and the, the yellow just like that if you guys want, but I wanted to mix them in to make it like more of a caramel color. And then this is the glitter whip. What is a glitter whip is what we get asked most. It's kind of just like, you know, well, that's the little sample that you get, but I have the full pack because I'm obsessed with her, her whips. So I always buy the full packs because I can never get enough of them. This is what it looks like. It comes in the tube. It's squeezable. It's soft. It's very easy to work with. It has a drying time of maybe like five to 10 minutes uh, faster if you use a heat gun, honestly. And you can just use it with your finger or you can use it with a brush. I personally love applying it with my finger. It's very soft. Um, it has all natural ingredients. So um, it's it's very like organic, the, the materials that they use to create these whips. And they last forever. They don't get hard like glitterific after like a week. You know what I mean? Like I have whips that have been sitting there for like a year um, and they are still brand new as the day that I got them. 
So this is also a way that you can use them. I wanted to show you guys both ways. You can use it with a brush or you can use it with your finger. You can use your brush to manipulate the glitters out if they get too chunky or if they get stuck like together. Um, you can just, you know, dab it, use the uh, brush tip to like separate them if you don't want to get your fingers dirty. But I mean, who doesn't want to have glitter all over their fingers? I absolutely love these. They smell amazing. Um, and Wanda has so many different options um, in her shop, like different colors, uh, different combinations, uh, the fine glitter ones, the chunky ones. Sorry, my kids are um, going off over there. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys some of the whips um, and how they work. And that's probably one of the things that I get asked about the most is the glitter whips. So do you see that color shift? Look at how pretty that is. And look at the little uh, glimmers of the orange and the red and that sunfire. So, so pretty. It just really brightens up the rock and it just gives it this total like shine. And um, the this whip is called Snowbow. I don't know if I said that. So pretty. So I'm going to actually go ahead and seal this and um, show you guys what it looks like after it's been sealed. But before that, I do need to, um, well, you don't need to, but I like to cover the sides of my rock with black, um, mostly because it just kind of makes it look neater. It, it kind of creates like this little uh, 3D frame, like a little canvas for your rock. Um, if you guys got the kit, then you did get a four inch Santorini square rock. If you've never painted on them, then beware because you may become addicted. Um, they are smooth to paint on like butter excuse me oh my god my voice is um probably about to fade out soon i've been talking for like 16 minutes congrats to y'all if you have heard me drone on for this long um yeah i like i just like to cover the sides of my rock with black now i don't know why it's just it makes for like a cleaner uh appearance um and it just kind of gives it like a little sophisticated fancy look so i'm gonna do that and i hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you guys have any questions um don't ever hesitate to reach out i'm always here to answer any questions on like how to use the products any art related stuff i'm i'm here for it i am here for it and that's it so now let me show you guys what it looks like sealed you can see all of the different colors coming through on that all of the i pretty much just threw up watercolor on this but I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you have any questions. There's only a couple of kits left in the shop. So go ahead and grab them. And for sure, they're going to hopefully do more like this in the future. Hope you guys have a wonderful day.